Hi, Nancy Spears at the Aspen Food and Wine Classic. I have the privilege of talking to Mark Burphy, who's a famous restaurateur from Manhattan. Hi, Mark. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. So you have now five restaurants in New York? I have four restaurants and I have a catering company. Okay. We're in the process of getting another one going, but not till uh, probably September, October. Okay. Very exciting. What's your, um, what's the highlight? Which, which restaurant do you prefer? Or? Well, now asking me which restaurant I prefer, it's I like asking me which kid do I like better. Right. I like them all. Okay. I mean, the landmark brand, which we have, we have two landmarks in, in, uh, right. in Manhattan. It's sort of a, it's a neighborhood bistro with some Italian influences. And I have Ditch Plains, which is a New York style surf shack feeling. I have surfing okay. videos playing behind the bar. We have oysters and beer on tap and lobster roll and all the good, all that good stuff. So the Ditch Plains brand is a little bit more casual, but Landmark is still very accessible and everybody can sort of go there. So I, I, I always like to open neighborhood restaurants. To me, that's the most important thing. I want, I don't want people coming just for Christmas or for birthdays and anniversaries. I want people to eat in my restaurant three times a week if they live yeah. in the neighborhood. I mean, the Landmark really truly is a local hangout. <laughs> Absolutely. I love it because the people come in at Time Warner, especially we're open from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. So the gamut of people that run through there between the business people having business breakfast, the moms with strollers later in the morning, you got, you know, tourists, you've got late night people coming from the opera and the ballet. It's just, it's such a great mix of people. It's just, it's a restaurant for everybody. Yeah, so you mix up the vibe and you also mix up the food. What inspires you with food? How do you know, with, with food, I, I'm always about, let's just make good food taste good. I mean, I, I worked with a chef once who told me, if you season the food correctly and you serve the hot food hot and the cold food cold, you're ahead of the game. And I, I st truly believe that, you know, if you can just make good food that people can understand and accept, and, and I think it's, uh, it's, it, it's you just got to stick to the basics, really. I don't try to stack the stuff too high or do anything like that. Okay, so that's part of the secret for your success. I mean, Manhattan is a, it's a tough audience because there's a lot of competition, it's a fickle crowd sometimes. You've been able to really hold your own um, with loyal customers. Um, what's the secret to that? I think the secret to that is, is giving them a consistent product. I think that you're gonna have a neighborhood restaurant, if you're gonna have any restaurant at all, you have to have consistency. If somebody comes in and they have, let's say my, 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 my mescaline salad with, with I have a, a sherry shallot vinaigrette, if you come in three weeks from now and that sherry shallot vinaigrette tastes different, I'm doing something very wrong. Okay. Because I think that a lot of people, when they go to their neighborhood restaurant, they know the restaurant, they know the menu, they probably know what they're eating before they leave their house. Mm -hmm. And if you change the menu too often as well, people get a little upset because like, wait a minute, that was my favorite right. dish. Right. So we really, we change our menu twice a year. Okay. And for consistency's sake, I would say about 80, 85% of the menu stays the same because it's, it's a neighborhood restaurant and people want to have the mussels that are on the menu, the different cuts of steak right. that we have. And, the passes of the day, which are a big, big hit with us as well. So that's also a real challenge for you, one guy, four restaurants, a catering business, in terms of training. Um, how much do you work? <laughs> I, I work quite a bit, but I, yeah. you know, I think the most important thing about being a good chef is also being a good manager and hiring really good people. And uh, I, have, I have an amazing team. My executive chef that works directly below me has been with me for almost eight years. He knows me better than I know me sometimes, talking food-wise. I have an executive chef in each restaurant that works directly with him and with me when we're changing menus and running specials. And I have a great director of operations who oversees the whole sort of, I always describe it, he's actually in the driver's seat driving and I'm hanging out the window looking for new things to do and <laughs> new ideas to bring into the car with us. Okay, so what's the next restaurant that's going to come into the car? You said you've got one in the hopper? We do. I partnered up with a guy named uh, Scott Gerber of Gerber Group, and we are doing a collaborative restaurant in the Viceroy Hotel, which will be opening on 57th Street between 6th and 7th. We're going to be doing, uh, Scott and I will be doing all the F&B for the hotel, which is going to be super exciting. It's going to be a new concept, sort of, well, let's leave it at that. All right. I can't wait to try it. It's a great neighborhood. I'm sure it'll be great food, great chef. Mark Murphy, thank you so much. Have a great time at Food & Wine. Thank you. Thank you right. so much. Thanks, everybody.